He lied. Donald Trump knowingly, right through his teeth, lied to everybody about Governor Ron DeSantis. I know it's late on a Friday. I know it's Cinco de Mayo. I don't normally do two videos in one day. But this was way too important to let slide or let wait till tomorrow. I know a lot of you think that the guy on the left is the only choice. And, well, Ron DeSantis, he's not this, not that, not the other. He lied. And I have the receipts. It took a little bit of research. But not only did he lie about this, he's lying about something else, too. What am I talking about? Well, some time ago, Mr. Trump made this statement about uh, the governor of Florida uh, being absolutely destroyed by Disney, and he should very, very bottom, very bottom of his of his Truth Social post, which you can go find. This whole thing with Disney, he says, is all so unnecessary, a political stunt. Ron should work on the quote unquote squatter mess. Now, what was he talking about? What was he was talking about? In certain parts of Florida, there are people that have gone into places and that weren't theirs, and they've set up home, and it's very hard to get rid of them. Well, guess what? This is 5 May 2023. Real estate investor reveals secret to removing Florida squatters without facing expensive legal battles. Florida landlord shares little known method that allows police to immediately remove squatters. Now, about a week ago, we did a video on this where we showed the sheriff right here in my home county, Flagler County, doing this exact thing. But of course, Fox News had this big thing where they found a never Trumper up in Jacksonville that complained about this and said it was somehow the governor's responsibility to rework the law. The law is clear. The law is absolutely clear. It's just that some people don't know about the law. This is 7 News Miami, where some guy wrote in and said to the news station, can you help me? And they found the law that covers this. And it's it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do all you have to do is sign an affidavit in the state of Florida stating that the person on the property doesn't belong there and they cuff them and stuff them. And this is the, uh, I'll give you the link to this. This is uh, Florida Senate.gov laws forward slash statutes 2022 0082.035, section three. Let's go to section two real quick. A transient. Occupant unlawfully detains a residential property if the transient occupant remains in occupancy of the residential property after the party entitled to the possession of the property has directed the transient occupant to leave. Basically, once the owner says, you're not supposed to be here and get out, you are now in violation of the law. Section 3. Any law enforcement officer may, upon receipt of a sworn affidavit of the party entitled to possession, that a person who is a transient occupant is unlawfully detaining residential property, direct a transient occupant to surrender possession of residential property. The sworn affidavit must set forth the facts, including the applicable factors. Any person who fails to comply with the direction of the law enforcement officer violates 810-08, and that is the Florida law on burglary and trespass. So it's, it's cut and dried. There's nothing the governor could do about this. It's just people that don't know the law that are trying to treat it like a civil matter when it's not. It's a criminal matter. And this, this is settled. Now, if Trump doesn't know this, he, he has no business talking about the law in Florida. He's lived here for decades and decades and decades, and he's supposed to be this real estate genius. It was a real estate... and investor that revealed this secret i thought this guy was mr super smart best real estate guy in the world 5d chess knows everything about everything about real estate he didn't know this how in the hell did he not know this and like i said i'll give you the links to to this to this to the all the articles the local news coverage of this and the fox news coverage of this and if you want to know the truth about something else all these other lies about DeSantis. That somehow DeSantis is attached to the Bushes, or the big lie about him being attached to Soros, or the big lie about all this other? Well, guess what? Trump has been going on and on on Truth Social about this guy named David Bernhardt and how wonderful he is. And here's the receipt. Five hours ago, 
David L. Bernhardt was a tough and capable cabinet leader as my Secretary of the Interior. He was a bulldog when advancing many of my great achievements at Interior and putting America on the road to energy dominance and deregulation. He never backed down, and he pushed very hard to get big results at a historic pace. And you go down here, and he's like, David authored a great book highlighting what it was like reporting to me while dealing with radical left bureaucrats. The book contains his views for draining the swamp and getting our government back in the business of working for you, the American people. You want to read the truth about David Bernhardt? You might want to sit down and get yourself a frosty cold one. Okay. Born 69. 53rd United States Secretary of the Interior, 2019 to 2021. During the Trump administration, he previously was a shareholder at the Colorado law firm Brownstein Hyatt Farber Shrek. What is that? It's a lobbying and law firm based in the United States. But wait a minute. Back up. Hold the phone. Donald J. Trump, contract with the American voter. Fourth, five-year ban on White House and congressional officials becoming lobbyists after they leave government service. Lifetime ban on White House officials lobbying on behalf of foreign government. Sixth, the complete ban on foreign lobbyists raising money for American elections. Oh, but it gets better. It gets even better. You see, that's what he did before. Let's see what he did in his early career. Bernhardt began his career as a lawyer in Colorado. He worked for U.S. Representative Scott, Mc, Scott McInnes, Grand Junction Republican. In 1998, he became an associate, an associate with Brownstein, Hyatt, and Farber, a Denver law and lobbying firm. George W. Bush administration. Bernhardt worked for the Department of the Interior during W's presidency. So this is a, one of W's guys. I thought it was a bad thing for Governor DeSantis to be supported tangentially from a distance by George Bush, who's not even involved in anything anymore. Somebody asked him, do you prefer DeSantis or, or Trump? And, and George W. Bush said, well, I think I probably, all things considered, probably consider DeSantis a better choice. That's all he said. But this guy that Donald Trump is singing the praises of, and loves and says go get his book and he was this wonderful guy he actually worked for w early in career with doi he was deputy chief of staff and counselor to then secretary of the interior gail norton he also served at department of the interior doi director of congressional and legislative affairs solicitor at the doi u.s commissioner of the in international boundary commission what the hell is that President George W. Bush nominated Bernhardt to serve as solicitor of the Department of the Interior in November 2005. Unanimously confirmed. Legal work and lobbying work. Oh, you're going to love this. Rejoined in 2009. Rejoined after he was done working with, with George W. He rejoined as a lobbyist. Brownstein, Hyatt, Farmer, Shrek. Shareholder and chairman of the firm's national law. Bernhardt's clients include, you ready for this? Westlands Water District, Halliburton, <laughs> Halliburton, Cobalt International Energy, so that means international lobbyist, foreign lobbyist. I mean, how can, seriously, does, does Trump not think you're going to look this up? Okay, and here's how he got it. Until the end of 2016, Bernhardt remained an attorney and lobbyist for the Westlands Water District. In November 2016, he delisted himself as a lobbyist in order to comply with the new president's ban on lobbyists joining, but it was a five-year ban. After withdrawing his formal registration as a lobbyist, Bernhardt became a consultant instead of a lobbyist. A co whatever while still remaining a lawyer at the firm while he worked for the president. Deputy Secretary of the Interior. And then after he, he went through all of that. And then post-government, Greater American Outdoors, blah, 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 blah. Post-government career. Guess what he did right after? After leaving the Department of the Interior, Bernhardt rejoined the lobbying firm. Brownstein, Hyatt, Farber, Shrek, to, as a senior counsel. And to put the cherry on this Sunday, he also joined the advisory board of Advancing American Freedom, a political advocacy group founded by Mike Pence. 
So I think that's pretty much the trifecta there, don't you think? He was a lobbyist. He was a Bush lackey. He was in bed with Halliburton. He was in bed with Pence. But once again, what do we hear at, at Donald Trump talking about this guy? Tough, capable, candidly, my Secretary of the Interior. Putting America on the road to edit. What the hell? Do your homework, folks. Do your homework. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely... Joe Biden's the enemy. Joe Biden's the enemy, and I'm going to challenge my entire audience to do this. I want you to go to Donald, Tr Donald Trump's Truth Social, okay? And I want you to go count how many anti-DeSantis posts he has versus how many anti-Biden posts he has. Go through it all. It's not hard to find. It's all... <sighs> It's, it's nauseating, to be truthful. So not only does Mr. Super Genius Real Estate Guy not even know basic real estate law in Florida before he decides to go after the governor and say that he has a problem that doesn't exist, he is now singing the praises of a guy whose connections to Cheney, to Bush, to Pence, to lobbying firms are very well established and known. And these are the same things that people are using to try to take down Governor DeSantis? How, how stupid are you? I wish I'd have brought up that, that meme from, uh, from Black Sails. The girl looking at uh, the captain of the ship saying, exactly how stupid are your men? Because they were leaving bags of gold lay around. But another video for another day. I mean, you, you would have to seriously be in major league denial at this point to think that this isn't just about his ego, meaning Mr. Trump, him and Bannon. But it's my challenge to you. Go to Donald Trump's Truth Social and count how many times he's attacking probably the single most conservative, best hope for governance of proper governance in the country this country's had in since Reagan and Trump can't stand it he's got more bad things to say about DeSantis than he does about Joe Biden or anyone else on the left not knowing what the hell he's talking about it's unbelievable but happy Cinco de Mayo I'll leave it there God bless have a great night like share subscribe we'll see you guys next time